son, where's your arm? Why is this guy pouring water on his windshield? Can you see that? He's like pouring water over his windshield with a water bottle. I'll show you how you do it, mate. You kind of, um, you usually grab this bit and you go, ta-da, see, nice and easy. Right, good afternoon, everybody. It's Lewis, also known as Just That Car Guy, and my upload schedule is horrendous. I was literally going through YouTube and thought, God, I haven't uploaded in a while. So I grabbed my camera and thought, what can I make a video on today? Well, Lewis. five, oh, don't you dare interrupt me again, Lewis. What I'm going to bring for you today, or what I'll uh, run through today is five things I love about this car. Oh, actually, no, let's narrow it down. Let's get straight to the point. Three things I love about this car and three things I, well, I hate. But what should we start with? Oh God, I don't know. And it's super cheap to run and maintain. These things are bulletproof for not a lot of money. I'm talking 2,000 pounds. You can pick up a low mileage one of these. The car will be oh, full service history. These things are bulletproof if you keep on top of the oil changes and bits and pieces like that. Parts are cheap, you can YouTube anything and it will show you how to do it. It is amazing. I'll probably do the final oil and filter change on this car uh, before it gets sold. Wink, wink. You don't need a lot of money to keep these things going. They are a brilliant first car. Number two thing I love about this car is the fact that, well, this is just gonna be like really dad sounding things, but the fact that it's really fuel efficient and easy to work on. I mean, these cars, are, are they're so easy to learn. They're, well, they don't cost you any money in parts. They won't cost you much money in fuel. I put 99 octane in this and it gives me amazing miles per gallon. None of that E10 rubbish, that just, that's like a kid slurping a Capri Sun. It goes down their neck quicker than you can even like think. Um, that was a weird analogy. Um, I don't watch kids drinking Capri Suns, I promise. But you get where I'm coming from, uh, <laughs> I think. Hopefully you get where I'm coming from. Um, yes, that is another good thing about these cars. A pigeon, move out of the way. Thank you. These are all equal, by the way. I think that, well, the last good thing about this car, well, at the top of the list anyways, is insurance. These cars are the cheapest to insure for young drivers. Arguably, I've put modifications on mine, so, uh, and I declared them all. Always declare your mods. Um, I declared everything from the bucket seats, the harnesses, the suspension. I declared everything on this car because I had a feeling and that dream that if I get pulled over, the last thing I'll be able to say to the police officer is, uh, yeah, it's stock. God. Bucket seats, harnesses. Did I declare them on my insurance? Oh God. He's gonna look in the window and tell it's immediately not stock. What am I gonna do? Excuse me, sir. Uh, I saw you had uh, bucket seats and harnesses in your car. Uh, have you declared, like, declared those on your insurance? Um, no? No. Wow. Well, I'm gonna have to write you up a massive fine because this is definitely not legal. Yeah, this is the part of the video where I don't know how to add text and this is me acting really badly and I just felt like it needed an, <laughs> needed an explanation. Anyways, back to the video. That is it, that, that kid is getting the biggest fine I've ever seen in my life. I think the main thing as a young car enthusiast, the one bad thing about this car is the speed. Now, <sighs> Under the bonnet of this bad boy, there is 68 brake horsepowers from new, I should say, and pushing this thing forwards into the uh, into the road. And I will do a quick demonstration. Second gear pull, 30 to 40. Yeah, not very fast. Um, second gear is probably the best thing you've got. You can do second gear all the way up to 65 if you want to. Um, depends how early you want to blow your engine up and whoa! Oh, uh, okay. Anyways, 
yeah, these cars are horrendously slow. Um, that is the one thing I've noticed. Owning this car, cruising around with friends, acceleration is rubbish, top speed is rubbish, although I'm on a black box, so that doesn't really matter. It's just an all-round slow car, which, you know, what do you expect from a 990cc engine under the bonnet of a, well, I don't even think it's- Call in. from oh. zero, one, seven, accept, yes or no? Uh, no. Accept, yes or no? No! Call rejected. Hey, go away, scammers, right. <laughs> Ridiculously slow, that is one thing. Another bad thing about these cars, I am six foot two. I'm not the shortest lad in the world. This seat is fully back, the steering wheel is fully up, and changing gears is like tickling everything with my knees. Everything is so close together. It's affordable, it's great, but bloody hell is it uncomfortable to sit in. This is why I put, I knew I was gonna put bucket seats in the car. I knew I was gonna do the harness route, so it wasn't that bad for me. I knew what I was gonna do, and I knew I was gonna modify the seats anyways. So that wasn't an issue. Uh, we've got an opportunity to give it some beans here, so we're gonna listen to the, the gods. Yeah, she's not bad. She is not bad. Yeah, I'm a tall lad. I don't quite fit in this car. It's, yeah, not the best. I would say six foot, you'd get away with it, but anything over that, you're, you're pushing your limits. You're pushing your limits. I don't really know. I'm kind of making this up as I go along. Um, I don't know, what are some bad things about this car? There's not really a lot. I don't know. Um, I don't know, I really like these cars. It was great to modify. It was actually on the route of modifying these cars. There is nothing out there for these cars in terms of modifications. Uh, even if there is, they're ridiculously expensive and uh, probably shouldn't be done, if I'm honest. Uh, these cars, I think the suspension alone was uh, 700 pounds from new. And this road is horrendous. Bloody hell, on coilovers, what am I doing? 700 quid from new. Um, the Volkswagen coilovers, great brand. But god damn, a huge chunk of money out of my wallet, I must say. Um, wheels, well, you can measure those up. Wheels are pretty much universal. Um, it's just a case of doing some measurements. And then, oh gosh, what else did I do? The rest was custom. Bucket seats, brackets, everything was custom. Uh, exhaust was custom. Right, this is for the boys. There's no... I mean, to be fair, now that the City Car Cup has now come out, parts have become a bit easier to find and access in terms of modification-wise, suspension, roll cage if you want it, bucket seats, the whole lot, they, it all comes in that kit, which I think is brilliant. However, came out a little bit later than I wanted it to because I needed all of that stuff for my car. But anyways, we, we go past the point. The whole reason I'm making this video is because I'm reflecting on the last 40 days with this car. In 40, or oh, 39 days I should say, a new vehicle will be entering the channel. It will be no longer that crazily modified iGo. It will be the new weapon on the street. So um, it is a case of saying goodbye to this car. I will try and do, well, my upload schedule is not consistent in any way, shape or form, but I'll try and get some videos out in terms of how you guys, if you wanted to do suspension and wheels on an iGo, that's all you really need. It's really that easy. Um, but how to adjust or how to, I don't know, change your oil. I want to be your dad, basically. Yeah, this car is fantastic for first. First drivers, if you're wanting a cheap car to modify or if you want to just do something different or it's your daily, this is your daily. This would be a perfect daily, is all I'm saying. But I think that's basically it, guys. If, well, 
it's a case of saying goodbye to the, the, the Blue Igo and moving on to our, our next journey. But it has been a blast building this car on the channel, although I kind of already finished it by the time I started recording, so it doesn't really count, but that just means the next build will be from stock upwards, which would be nice. 350Z, Ooh. But yeah, in that case, enjoy your evening, guys. Let me know what I should do for this with this car before it's sent off into the world of the secondhand market but that is everything thank you for watching everybody and i will see you in the next video